welcome to Berlin. Thank first you of all. so much. You've been on quite a tour. We have, we have. We're halfway through. Um, we, we're, we've been America, all around America, and and then uh, we're in Toronto, um, and then we're off to <laughs> Madrid, <laughs> and then Oslo, and then Mexico, and then Hong Kong, and then back to shoot the second movie. So you're completely jet lagged by now. And I'm all right, actually. We flew in from London. I'm very tired. Okay. But I'm happy to be back in Berlin. Back? Yeah, I shot here. I shot um, a film called Anonymous by uh-huh. Roland Emmerich. We shot in, um, we shot at Babelsberg. Oh, wow. I didn't so, realize like, Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We, so we, we replicated the, uh, the Globe Theatre in Babelsberg. But anyway, Perfect. that's a different so time. So it's a bit of home here as well. Ah, you know, sure. Why not? <laughs> And Toronto is now your new favorite city. I mean, you're going back there for the second, for the sequel as well. Yeah, we love Toronto. We were there for the premiere the other day. It's a great, you know, it's a great place. The Canadians are, you know, very lovely people and, and very warm. And, and to, you know, the thing is, we don't have much time to hang out when we're there, though. Because, you know, in the last movie, we shot 56 days and I was working 52 of them. Mm-hmm. Lily worked 54. Kevin worked and then would leave and then come back. Robbie did the same. So... You know, we you know we enjoyed it for what it was, but we never really get much time. You know, but you know, I mean, you know, it's, what's what? I might do some more things when I'm there this time. I was just gonna say, you have plenty of time now, hopefully. Exactly. Especially, I mean, how much training did you need before the movie? Is that something you can? Yeah. You know, now you've like reached a certain fitness level where you can relax. Well, no, I can't relax because <laughs> I've I've sort of. Yeah, I did four and a half months of physical training before we started shooting. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so I did a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, Protein shakes. Yeah, well, that's how it started off, because oh, originally really? we wanted... like They were like, Jace is going to be like this big, bulky guy. And I actually said, I think <laughs> didn't he's... Work. Well, I was like, I think he's a rock star. I think he's <laughs> okay. more of a rock star. Okay. So I was like, I was quite big. And then I was like, actually, no, I don't want him that big. So I sort of, <coughs> like, had to cut the protein shakes. And I that sort of just, like, went on this very, very strict diet. Um, and I ended up there a month before we started shooting with the stunt guys. And then, um, yeah. And then so I'll be doing the same thing again. A- again and again. And I'm training whilst we're on tour and... It's craziness. And you're getting very good at fighting. I mean, it's a, it seems like wizard, vampire, shadow hunter. Is that your thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose, I've, I suppose I'm sort of always drawn to the sort of ethereal or slightly quirky or different characters. I think that's something that ultimately I've always been attracted to. So, um, yeah, good at fighting. I don't know if I'm good at... I don't want to sit here and say I'm good at fighting, though, because well, someone least, might fight me, and then I might be bad at fighting. Well, you probably... You're very good at, like, moving around. And, well, I might know, just interpret... Like I could just around. interpretive <laughs> dance in their exactly. face. Like, really exactly. freak them out a bit. That'd be weird. Something like that. <laughs> Is there a scene in the movie where you said, um, you know, it was so many special effects, or it was so much, so intense, that it was something you were scared of? Was there a day, a shoot in the movie, where you were really like, wow, I don't know if that's going to work out or how that's going to work out? There were two. I mean, there were two moments. <clears throat> three, actually, probably. Um, <clears throat> one was a, is the dramatic scene with Jace and Clary. It's the midnight flower scene in the book or the greenhouse scene as it exists in our movie, which is where, you know, Jace opens up to Clary and tells her, tells her all about, you know, his life and his upbringing and why he is the way he is. And then, of course, there's the kiss. So, you know, that for Jace is this a huge character moment um, and, and that you know for me was quite a scary day and when I get in those when I get in those sort of scenes or when I get in that moment I sort of just start to freak out a bit and my mind goes a thousand miles an hour and then there was the fight with Jonathan Rhys Myers who plays Valentine at the very mm-hmm. end that was like three Where days of just the Pentagon and he just and Jace just gets an ultimate beat down he gets absolutely just crushed so that was that was a full-on three days. And then the table flip that I did at Hotel de Moor um, with, um, yeah, I remember turning around with Kevin Zegers, who plays Alec. Mm-hmm. I turned around and it, the moment was only like, it was literally like half a second, but I remember looking at him and thinking, <laughs> I was literally like, and then just went for it. And I made it and I was like, <laughs> and all the guys were there, it was like four o'clock in the morning. And yeah, it was great. It was, it was you know, that was a pretty, pretty scary moment though. Do things happen, though? I mean, literally in these fight scenes, does it ever happen that, you know, instead of, you know, drawing past you, you get smacked in the face? Or yeah, like that? absolutely. All the time. Yeah, I mean, All thankfully, the time. <laughs> thankfully on this movie, it didn't. I mean, with that table gag, 
I overshot the table one time, and then I undershot the table another time, and I was like, well, we should just roll on the third on the third go because the law of averages states that I should land in the middle right. um, this time, and I did. Um, but I don't. I did a TV show where I broke my ankle, and and like, I, yeah, I've got cuts and bruises, but you know. I'm I'm a manly man. <laughs> I'm not a manly man. I'm, I'm a bodybuilder type, I'm as a, we found out. I'm a guy. Yeah, I'm just wearing a big baggy jumper just to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bunch of tattoos. I do. Do you have a rune? I don't have a rune. Ah. I don't. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, well, uh, it would be interesting to see if after the second part, you know, it's yeah. going to be somewhere there. Exactly. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you very much. much.